Hello, I'm Alicia from the Save the Date Wedding Podcast and today we are talking all about keeping up with the Joneses, especially when it comes to planning your wedding. Now, one of the biggest topics that I cover on the podcast is obligation, how we feel obliged to do certain things because other people are doing it or because it's the tradition or because your mum told you to do it. I really feel strongly that when you are planning your wedding, you need to focus on what's good for you, not necessarily what's on Pinterest or what your friends have done or what, I don't know, a member of the royal family did five years ago. The big thing is trying to focus in on what you want to do. It's so simple, yet so many people veer wildly off the track because they feel pressure when they go to their friends' weddings, when they sit on a Pinterest board and go through hundreds and hundreds of photos and become completely overwhelmed with all of the uh, all of the vendors that are on offer, all of the beautiful photographs where most of them, can I just add, on Pinterest are what we call editorial photos. They are set up in a studio or they're professionally photo photographed by uh, proper blogs and editorial images. These are really hard to replicate and we get so bogged down with all these details and expectations, it can become completely full-on mental. So when it comes to trying to compete with friends, this is where I put my foot down. So many people attend other friends' weddings and they go, oh my gosh, we don't have a three-piece band. I don't have a magician. And then they feel this, this sort of panic. They think that they need to then go and outdo them. When in fact, what would be outdoing your friends is actually creating a wedding day that completely represents you. I think a lot of people underestimate adding personal touches and uh, your own vibe and your personal love story, not to get too vomy, but actually getting these details into your wedding will be far more effective of creating a day that reflects you as a couple than putting lots more money into things or getting fads or these sort of crazy little additional extras that people are doing, which are fun, but also does a magician, no disrespect to magicians, I don't know why I'm on about magicians today, but people are obsessed with adding these sort of entertainment additions to their wedding when you go, does it really add value to your day? Does it reflect what you're trying to do? Probably not. I mean, it's fun. If someone can pull a card out of a bra, who wouldn't enjoy that? But is it something that actually says, well, this is what our story as a couple is and this is why we've done it? I think in any situation, you need to just stop and think about the details that you're adding to the day and how they actually will enhance and reflect what you're trying to do. It's a really easy step to go, whoa, 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 just because Jane and Terry, I don't know if anyone really knows a couple called Jane and Terry anymore, unless they're your parents' friends, just because Jane and Terry had all of these extra details, it doesn't mean we have to do it. Set your sights on what's good for you, not what's good for everyone else. And I guarantee you will have a five-star wedding. There it is. If you would like to subscribe to the Save the Date Wedding Podcast, it is so easy. And guess what? It's free. I produce three shows a week. I have produced over 150 episodes. So there is a massive back catalogue for you to listen to. And it's just about this sort of stuff. I talk about getting your chill creating bride chillers, groom chillers, maid chillers, not getting all caught up in the craziness that can happen when you're producing, planning this big event or not so big event. You can get just as stressed with a 10 people person wedding than a 100 people wedding. Uh, and really just trying to have a good time when planning your big day because that's what it's all about. It's about a big party. It's about celebrating, having a nice nice sort of party time with your family and friends, not getting wrapped up in the craziness that is expectation and obligation. Visit savethedatepodcast.com for more information or search for me, Save the Date, on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play or wherever you find your podcasts. Hope you have a great day. Talk to you soon. Save the Date Wedding Podcast. Don't plan your wedding without it.